Hello Aces, welcome back to module two, lesson number seven. Today we're talking about crafting your value proposition so then that way your restaurant can stand out. What you'll learn today is how do you properly create a value proposition so then that way you can communicate that to your customers. We laid the foundation, we've done all the work previously in the last six lessons and this is the lesson where you're gonna be able to communicate this to your customers. What is a value proposition? Some might ask, a value proposition is a clear statement about the outcomes that a customer can realize from using your products and services. What it is not, okay? So it's simply put, it is basically what your customers can expect to get from you. What it is not is, is the fact that it is not a slogan. We're not creating this as a slogan. It should be able to convey what the delivery, what the results are, what the impact from using and dining at your restaurant. It is not a description of your services. We're not talking about best ice cream. That is not a value proposition. This is also not information about your company, your products, or your services. This is not what a value proposition is. Examples of some good propositions that I've seen in the past is that Simply authentic Italian. This gives and conveys a message to me that if I dine in this Italian restaurant, it is not gonna be some mass produced franchise, prepackaged um, pa um, frozen goods. It seems like that, oh, this gives me a feeling of that I should be expecting that <clears throat> fresh pasta. I should be expecting everything made from like the grandma's recipe. This is exactly what they're serving and simply authentic Italian really conveys that message, especially for me. The second example would be, you'll love your meal or it's free. The value proposition is so simple. It's like, if you don't like it, you get your money back, risk-free, guaranteed. And if you can actually put this as your value proposition because you stand so firm and you're so confident in the value and the quality of your meals, then kudos to you. Then you can put this as your value proposition as well. Now, how do you find your selling proposition? There are steps to this and I'm gonna go over it with you. First of all, you need to define your target segment. We did this in lesson 2.4. Second is what problems do you face, or not you, but do they face? We talk about that in lesson 2.5. What is the scope, 2.6? What is the solution? Solution becomes that offer that you're, do, you're, you're offering your customers, and what is the benefit for your customers? After you have identified all these, you can kind of put it together and offer that as a solution or as the message that you're gonna to convey to your customers. For example, with 720 Suites, our target market are the college students. The problem that they face is that they don't usually have a place because they're either in the dorm room or at their parents' place. They need a place to hang out, chill, chill with their friends. The scope, we are providing new and unique dessert experiences with friendly services. And the solution, we are building a culture around a new modern tradition of desserts that are photogenic. That's our solution that we wanna provide through our dessert items, through the, our offering as well. What is the benefit they get from it? They get a unique dessert experience and social engagement, uplift in status, all these good things by them dining at our ice cream shop. This is what you need to craft. Now, looking at this, looking at all these answers and the solutions that you are providing for your customers, then you can come up with a value proposition that really is concise, packs this all together into one sentence that you can actually send and actually communicate with your ideal customers. So for 720 Suites, our value proposition is create memorable moments together you know photo taking and then also sharing and then always having a hangout spot with your friends uplift and status all these things coming together to create memorable memorable moments and especially because millennials they love and they value their friends a lot which is the reason why this becomes even more attached to them so there you go value proposition and clearly speaking to your target customers. I hope you enjoyed this. Our next lesson, we're gonna be talking about how do you crave out or carve out your own mind space to dominate your competition. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.